March 1st is National Developmental Disability Awareness Day. And all of March is known as National Developmental Disability Awareness Month. National Developmental Disability Awareness is the practice of knowing, acknowledging, and accepting individuals' experiences as they relate to disability. People with disabilities can make their own decisions, which allows them to do so. People with disabilities will ask for help if needed. In addition, changing perspectives, promoting awareness and inspiring empathy, an organization which serve in California and Vermont matters disability blending in with diversity. They said disability crosses all demographics, gender, ethnicity, religion, sexual orientation, and socioeconomic status. Disability is the only minority that one can be born into or become a part of at any point in his or her life through accident, illness, or aging. Moreover, disability takes many forms from those we can discern at once to those that are undetectable with a look. Development of disability awareness is vital because thinking critically and carefully about disability is a crucial part of helping our people understand their society, their relationships, their families, and their own experiences and making the world more accessible and accepting. Additionally, people in the world, like me, with development disabilities have the necessary positive rights to be treated with respect, love, and care, understanding and sympathy, and even dignity. All developmentally disabled lives matter and always will be the same as my own. For dignity, everyone is unique and sacred value. People and I with disabilities deserve to be embraced without stigma or stereotypes. Everyone has a contribution to make in our world and deserves the chance to realize and develop our spiritual, relational, and creative abilities. Connecting foes, connecting with foes who are closest to me and people with special needs will far more likely bring out sustainable change over and above institutional care. Personal care is where love and common sense are central. When it comes to me and people with disabilities, we have severely deep problems and concerns which all do not have quick straightforward and easy answers and solutions and fixations. And as for support, people and I with disabilities need families and communities which supply trust, security, and mutual affection. Communities are where we share common interests and resource connections. They are only in the context of communities in which I and individuals with disabilities have beauty, worth, and vitality. We should add pricing strategies and be certain to merge with vital details such as value, length of services, and how unique people and I with disabilities are. Our world needs to be humbly aware of the problems people and I with disabilities face. That knowledge prompts radical personal action to address those needs. Inclusion replaces exclusion as communities grow in strength and diversity. Life on earth, for sure, may be tough, challenging, complicated, stressful, difficult, and overwhelming to cope with me and people with disabilities but that should never be a requirement or excuse for it to be either avoided, neglected, ignored, refused, 
or even despairing, discouraging, or unwilling to deal with. Mm -hmm. And although none of us could change the world, change the way the world is, we can change what we do ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.